the U.S. government is trying to impose software patents on other countries and has done so on several countries. For instance, the U.S. has signed free trade agreements with Jordan, with Chile, with Australia, which I believe require software patents. And the U.S. government persuaded several other countries to allow software patents before they realized how, how stupid an idea it is. There is no country in the world that's better off because of having software patents. So right now there is a political battle going on in the European Union about whether to authorize software patents. The patent bureaucrats in the European Patent Office decided to start issuing software patents even though the treaty that set up the European Patent Office prohibits this. So they are operating illegally. This shows how arrogant they are. But the patents that they issue because they violate the treaty may be completely meaningless. Therefore, uh, they're tr trying to get a directive passed by the European Union to authorize software patents. Well, we convinced the European Parliament to vote to amend the directive to reject software patents. But the European Parliament has only a limited amount of power over what the European Union does. So, you know, we, we have to see what comes out. I think that every time free software gets a high profile success, it tends to make others who are timid a little more comfortable with the idea of using it. But you know, I don't want, I think it's a mistake to focus on convincing people to use our software. And the GNU Project's policy is we're not desperate to get anybody to use our software. If they don't want to use our software, it's their loss.